Hey guys, Max Sophie Queen here, and welcome to Nancy Drew Treasure in the Royal Tower, the next game in the Nancy Drew series. Well, for us, that is. But let's go ahead and get into the game and get started. Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click the tutorial button first for a few tips on how to play the game. Okay, so hopefully I am not talking over Nancy, and I will try not to do that a lot, but things are going to be kind of a little bit different from now until, well, pretty much Nancy Drew's maybe 11th or 12th game, um, because I've come into a little bit of some problems with recording these types of series, and I really am going to have a difficult time trying to do it this way, but it is going to be kind of different. Um, everything is basically going to be post-commentary. Um, I've already played through the game itself and recorded the game footage, and now I am recording the audio. Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet the Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell Bess she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Now all I need okay, is a mailbox. Okay, so, like I was saying... Um, I'm probably going to be talking over Nancy some. I'm going to try not to, but like I said earlier, this is pre-recorded. Uh, I've already finished the series, and now I have to do post-commentary on it because we're in kind of a little bit of a pickle. So, I use OBS Studio to record these games, and there was an update that recently happened. I don't remember when, but it was a couple months back that I did because usually I just go ahead and I do updates. Um, whenever I have one on OBS because I figure it's just going to make it work better and it's not going to make it run any worse than it used to be. So I did the update and after the update I went in to record some Nancy Drew again to start this series of course and realized that well um, I couldn't because the game would not show up in OBS Studio. So I searched around and I did quite a few things to try to fix it and um, ended up not being able to fix it and I had to download a second recording software. So I had to record the game on the recording software and then I had to record the part you're seeing right now with the commentary in OBS Studio because the games are so old that the Windows 10 and updates with OBS they just don't pick up the old games anymore because the screen is literally the size of, well, the corner of my screen. Mine is a 12, or no, I think it's a 1080p by something. I don't remember exactly the size, but it's basically the small corner of my screen is what the game fills up. So when you go to record it in OBS, it doesn't pick it up at all. And I had to basically refigure the video and kind of pull it and make it bigger so that it looks like you're seeing now um, with this other recording software. So I'm going to try my best to 
basically commentate as much as possible and we're gonna probably do with this one as well as all of the other games up to I believe I said earlier it's like game 12 or 11 um, there's there's so many of the older games that don't go into a windowed mode which basically lets me um, put the screen not full screen put it in a windowed mode so that I can click on a uh, thing in OBS studio Welcome to the voice and of course system. the voicemail Please system is going to talk to, to us in that annoying voice um, but I'm gonna talk over it basically because um, you can see anything that they're saying in the box there so if I do tend to go over it sometimes um, hopefully it won't affect it too much but I can't hear the audio myself from the video itself for some reason in LBS studio it doesn't allow me to hear the audio from a media source that I've already recorded I don't know why but it just doesn't but then after I play it back you can hear it so I will probably be a little bit off on some of it um, but I am going to try my best to do what I can to stay up on what she's talking about um, but basically we have to be able to put the games into a windowed mode so that OBS studio can recognize them and let me record them but I think 11 and 12 uh, or 12 and 13 or something like that that's when they actually started implementing windowed mode into the games so until we get to those games we are definitely gonna have to stick to doing this for a while which I guess is okay um, we're basically gonna play through all these walkthrough style so I'll be using a walkthrough for all of the games um, until we reach the point where I can live commentate over the video. So that's what we're going to do for now. And we have another little um, problemo that appeared up here and I'll try to hopefully uh, deal with that as well. But when I was recording I had to set myself basically like a mini timer in my head because this recording software is not like the full version or something or I don't know basically the recording software only lets me record like 10 minutes at a time so I had to kind of count in my head because I had my phone that I was using for the walkthrough and I had to kind of base it on the time that I started to the time that I stopped with um, how long the video was going to be so they're each going to be about 10 minutes long and this one is actually going to end pretty much right now um, this is as far as I got in the first part. So there's going to be way, way, way more parts to these games. Um, and I'm going to try to do them as good as I can, but we only can do 10 minutes at a time. So we'll try to get through with as much as we possibly can. Um, but for now, we're going to have to do it like this. So I guess I will just see you guys next time. And hopefully by the next episode, we'll kind of get into a rhythm and we can do this and get it done and go through the games because I enjoy the games and I really want to play them in order it's just the older games are harder so we'll see how it goes but for now we're gonna end it here and I will see you guys in the next episode